That's fine. <coughs> I have to plug it in. I guess. I think we're alive. <coughs> I'm checking in with the, uh, I'm checking it all out. Um, <coughs> hey folks, if you can see me, hello, come on in. We got about four minutes till start time. We just started trying to make sure they, uh, that we can reach you from where we are. I'm checking in with David. It says, he says we're live. Cool. We're live right now. On YouTube also? Let me check. We may just not have the chat, if that's okay with that's you. Totally, that's totally fine. We'll just talk. Yeah. Cool. Hey, Vic. I said, I just wanted to say hi. Um, well, you're saying hi to like you're probably threes of, three, threes of people. Three or four. <laughs> hi, Mom and Dad. David's there, right? We, uh, yeah, they, no, Charlie and Nancy just texted so they can see us, so, um, um, we're live everywhere, he says. We're live everywhere. Hey, everybody out there. <laughs> we are, uh, uh, I'm Jason Cade. This is Rob McMakin. We are, uh, the band Hog-Eyed Man, and we're in Athens, Georgia right now. We were expecting a, um, a downpour, and it might still come while we're playing, um, but we're out, we're outside underneath, uh, uh, in Rob's, in Rob's garage, so we got open air coming through, and we got our masks, and we got um, a plexiglass window, so we won't spit on each other. We won't. We'll try not to sing on each other or spit on each other. But we're excited to play um, about an hour of music for you. And um, thank you so much to David Strickland for uh, inviting us to um, be part of the the Florida State Fiddlers Convention this year. Uh, we would we'd be down there in person if if only we could. But you know, everybody knows how it is. So um, hey, this is. This is better than nothing. Yes, it is better than nothing. We, um, it's kind of amazing. Rob just finished eating a, like a curry dinner like six minutes ago <laughs> in his own house. <laughs> and then he, um, now he's tuning up. And You're, you're going to hear the bells of UGA, of, of the victory of victory behind us oh, probably. Oh, it's a home game tonight. It's a home game. They just, they're finishing up now. Did, they probably just finished. Did they win? Oh, yeah. Go dogs. Yeah. <laughs> Don't say that to Florida. <laughs> we just lost 17 fans. Oh, man. Um, that's the first time I've ever even said those words, so it's, you know, you probably heard how awkward they are. Um, <coughs> all right. So, uh, yeah, we're going to play about an hour of old-time music. These are, these are going to be tunes from, uh, mostly from kind of our neck of the woods, North, North Georgia and, uh, um, Western North Carolina. Um, but we, we have a few tunes that we, that we threw into the set, um, that we associate with Florida, so we'll uh, look forward to getting to those. And um, yeah, we'll just kind of tell you about it as, as we go along. Uh, where's my fiddle? Here it is. We need that. <laughs> All right, so we got we know that David and Charlie and Nancy are all watching. Yeah, can you uh, can you go on Facebook? I'll try. I only have a little bit of battery, but I'll try. Oh, okay. All right. Well, we may not be able to see you what you're saying, but we'll assume it's um it's PG. I think we can do this. I'll do this. Tune in to watch live. Yeah. Watch live. There you go. Oh, jeez. Oh, turn the volume down. <coughs> All right. Cool. Let's get started. Let's play a tune. We get a pick. <coughs> so we're going we're gonna to start off with Arkansas, uh, Arkansas Hoosier. This is a tune that, that I got from Bruce Green, and he got from George Mert Reeves. <coughs> and um, I don't know if we've ever played it as a show before. No, we haven't. This is the debut. A lot of new stuff on the set tonight. All right, let's do it. Yeah.
wonder if our old time gestures are going to change culturally over the years. Like we'll be a lot more like it used to be like a little tiny nudge, and you know what's going on. But we have to do a lot more upper facial stuff. Here, so. Oh, we anyway. got people. We got people commenting. Your your wife even is even commenting. She, my Thanks. wife is commenting that's, while watching Black Panther with my children that's inside so my house. <laughs> That is so sweet. All right. Um, yeah, so thanks for tuning in if you're just joining us. And we're, we're so happy to be in Florida <laughs> via, via Athens, Georgia. Um, uh, that was Arkansas Hoosier. And, and now we're going to play another tune um, from, from Western North Carolina. But this is one from Red Wilson. Red Wilson is a great fiddle player who I, I got to, to hear many times um, when I was a kid. Never, never really played with him that much, but I always enjoyed um, hearing him play with, with Bruce Green and Rob Levin and, and other folks. Um, and this is a tune he wrote. It's a tune called Grassy Creek. It's a, it's a kind of a straightforward little breakdown, but just with a little, a little twist in it. And uh, I've always, I always love playing this tune, not just because it's a great tune, but because Grassy Creek um, was one of the few places that had a, a pretty good skateboarding spot when I was growing <laughs> up. And so it, it, it uh, takes me back to the cash points <laughs> in Grassy Creek near Spruce Pine. I wish that uh, Charlie, Charlie and Nancy Harness walked by earlier today. I wish that she was playing guitar on this and uh, Charlie was playing uke, but we're just going to do it as a duo. It's kind of neat, too. You can imagine everything happening behind it. We'll, we'll do our best. Yeah. You can play along with us at home. Please do. Nancy. It's a G. <laughs> Creek, y'all. <laughs> I can't tighten my bow. It's so weird. Oh wow! Just the uh, humidity or something. Well, the next tune we're gonna do. Uh, Jason will tell you more about it, but um, <laughs> will I? Well, yeah, maybe. Well, sure. Maybe not. Yeah. But yeah. it was one of the first tunes that um, that Jason sent me an archive recording of, or just a recording of. I think Bruce playing it actually. Probably. And um, I'd heard a couple versions of it before, but um, mm -hmm. it, I pieced it all together that uh, that Jason had had spent. A lot of time when he was younger, and and you know now, with Bruce Green living up near him, and uh, and this tune was in particular just as a solo fiddle tune was one that I was like I love that, and he was like yeah I can't wait to play it with you, and I was like I don't like it, I just like it like a fiddle tune. I don't want to hear anybody else playing on this. So it took a couple of years for us to come up with an arrangement that I felt like didn't ruin just a solo fiddle, and uh, and part of that involved turning it into a waltz at first, and then oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then playing it on dulcimer and not playing chords. That's right. Let's do the waltz. Yeah. All right. 
Yeah, we 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 uh, we had it in the repertoire for a while, and then it, it kind of we haven't played it for a long time. Most of the stuff we're gonna play tonight are, are tunes that are either new to us or or ones that we haven't played for for quite a few years. So yeah, let's try the waltz. Yeah, and this is uh this is on our second our second album, uniquely titled um, Hog Eyed Man Two, <laughs> and that's a shout out to Eddie Van Halen who died this week, oh. who had Van Halen One and Van Halen Two. We decided to do Hog Eyed Man One and Two as well. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> didn't want to get out of that one. I like playing that one. I wanted to play it a couple more times. Yeah, that was fun. Old Beach Leaves. It's such a beautiful image, too. I mean, yeah. we all just love that time of year. Yep. It's for like four or five months where it's no, the only magical thing that's happening in the forest <laughs> are these shimmering old beach leaves that look like gold. I love that. Some that sometimes titles make no sense to me, and I like that, too. And there's a couple of those tonight. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We got a lot of... Uh, Tunes with states in the names tonight. Yes, we do. None of them Florida. Oh, no, we do have a Florida. Yeah, we do, but don't give it away. Do you want to go ahead and do um, the one we were planning on doing? Um, no, actually, let's do the Florida tunes. Cool. Maybe. Or what do you think? That's great. Or let's just do the first Florida tune, and we'll see. All right. Is that on Mando? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so new. Brand spanking new for us. Yeah, we haven't really played this tune 
this is a um, this is a tune called Forty Weight of, of Gingerbread, and it, it comes from a fiddle player called Arthur Cush Holston, who I um, I'm not totally sure where he was from. Maybe Otter Creek, Florida. Maybe that's just where he was recorded, or maybe that's that's just totally wrong. But anyway, we didn't get it from Arthur Cush um, Holston, although I, I encourage you to to check out his recording of it if you're interested, because he sings a whole bunch of verses and they're really cool. We got ours from our friends Rafe Stefanini and David Bragger. I think it's the first tune on on their most recent CD, um, their only CD together, and um, it's a really really fun tune. And um, <clears throat> since we were kind of interested in it anyway, we we decided to throw it into the show and play you a, a tune that I think comes from Florida. <clears throat> David and Rafe, your version is amazing. So we're just gonna kind of cover it. <laughs> it's a really good album. All right. Ready? Shady Grove is an international song at this point. Yeah, yeah, we're <laughs> gonna do the we're gonna do the the uh, the Lee Sexton uh, version, but of course it's the one that we got filtered through through Bruce Green and, and Don Petty. But then um, the words that yeah. we sing actually come from um, that great CD by Beverly Smith and Bruce Molsky and, and Rafe called oh, yeah. uh, Big Hoedown. And so we we played with we we recorded this song, this version of this song. A uh, bunch of years ago now on, on, on Hog Eyed Man 3. Um, and Beverly Smith played with us on that. and We recorded um, it right there across the street from my house you, in Athens. They probably can't see it, but yeah, it's <laughs> sort of right over there. Right over there. And uh, so, yeah, this is this is the version we did. And we, we sang the words that um, Beverly was already singing on it just because uh, she's the best. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
never to the past, take a little bite of me. to our Florida set. We got yeah. two more Florida tunes. I'm excited yeah. to do them. And I'm so excited about doing them that I can't remember what they sound like. <laughs> and that's why yeah, I'm yeah. glad that Jason uh, will start playing them. But I, well, well I think this first one is, uh, or this next one is, uh, is not so much a Florida tune as a tune about Florida. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we're, we'll, we'll do, we're going to do the, the, uh, the classic, of course, Florida, Florida blues. Um, it's really not in our, in our uh, usual wheelhouse, to be totally honest, but it's a great Arthur Smith tune. Um, so I guess you'd really think of it as a, as a Tennessee tune, but um, Red Wilson played it, and uh, um, Ralph Blizzard played it, and Doc Watson played it, and a lot of people from my neck of the woods in North Carolina that I uh, remember hearing it when I was a kid, and um, heard it recently on Travis and Trevor Stewart's great old time Tiki Parlor recording, and kind of sparked my interest in it again. So. Um, yeah, I think we we played it for the first time just like together, um, just like two days ago. So we'll uh, yeah, and we'll uh, get through it. There's uh, it's starting to rain now, which is why we're in this particular place in my garage. And uh, but my neighbors were walking by, and they some of them don't know that I play music; they just hear it emanating <laughs> from our house. So we'll do our best here. All right. Oh yeah.
Thanks for bearing with us on that. That was fun. And uh, thanks, everybody, for tuning in to the, the I don't know what annual um, Florida State. 20 something. Fiddlers. Is it annual? the 20-something? Yeah. Sorry for not remembering. But, it's uh, right raining on us, so I'm turning this. I'm moving this it's, in a little um, bit. Oh, yeah. Do we need to move in a little bit? No, we're good. OK. Um, yeah, it's just starting to rain, which is which is going to be nice. Uh, it makes it worth setting up in the garage when it actually rains. Hell, yeah. It's like, why are we in the garage? It's like, it's because it's going to rain. Uh-huh. So. Um, yeah, thanks for tuning in, and thanks again to David Strickland for, for having us. We, we've got a bunch of recordings. Um, you can, they're, they're mostly only available in digital copies now, but you can get them from, from Bandcamp if you want to hear more of what we do. Um, and we got a, I still have a physical CD. So our most recent CD was put out by Old Town Tiki Parlor in Los Angeles, and they have so many great recordings. Um, so we're honored to be on that, that roster. And that's the only one of our recordings that has a, a title that's not just a number. That one is <laughs> Old World Music of the Southern Appalachians. It's kind of a long title. We went from short little digits to a, <laughs> a, a big phrase. But um, we're really proud of that one. It has some of our dear friends on it. And um, feel, feel free to check it out. <clears throat> we're going to um, you want to do Uncle Noe? Yeah. OK. It's a, it's a dulcimer tune. Uncle, oh yeah, it is. Or we could do Hello John D if you want to do that one. No, that's great. I okay. want to do this. So this is a um, another another tune with a kind of a loose Florida association. This one, um, this one comes from a fiddle player called o Oddly Cable, and uh, he was living in I think Dade Creek, um, Florida, um, but he was he was from Texas. He retired to Florida, uh, and Bruce Green tracked him down there, and he had a, um, a whole bunch of really cool tunes, and this is one of them. Um, so I think this this kind of counts as a as a Florida tune, or a, a, at least in if you live, at least if you live in Georgia. It was then. found in Florida. <laughs> yeah, it was found in Florida. If not if not for Florida, this tune might not be, have been found. Yeah. Okay. Um, Uncle 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 Noah Jameson. Okay.
We're getting our party crowd. Oh, we got an audience. Me and the messes was washing the dishes, and she said, "Are you humming that grassy creek?" I said, "No, it's coming somewhere out the window." And we just followed our ears up the hill. Woo! Woo Ladies and gentlemen, Nancy and Charlie Hartness. Woo That's not a raccoon over it's there. It's wet. It's wet out here. They, we got uh, our umbrella. They... We thought there was going to be a tornado, but. <laughs> We're here to support our friends. That's right. Keep going. Where's the penny pot? Yeah. Yeah, good yeah, question. It's all digital. Yeah. So uh, Nancy and Charlie play in Hawk Poof Rooster, a real good band here in town, and they've we've been playing with them for years. And uh, so sweet of you guys to to walk over here in the rain from your from your house. How, how many miles did you walk? Oh, five, 20, many of a mile. 20, 27 <laughs> miles. Five miles up, Ellen Woods. Hey, do you want to hear some Hello, John D? Yeah. Yeah, that'd be good. We're going to, we're going to play a, a banjo tune. No, we're good. It's kind of rainy. Yeah, it is. Actually, um, Nancy, you're the reason I even knew that I should get one of these banjos. Yeah. That's right. This is that right. fretless tradesman banjo. There you go. Yeah. Nancy had one, and I, I played it at her house one day, and I was like, dang, that's fun. Oh, now my wife's coming out. She heard Charlie and Nancy are here. Yeah. 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 All right. She just All right. was offering us chairs. <laughs> You're gonna hear my. I'm gonna play lead mandolin right now because he's not playing fiddle. Yeah, you, you showed up just in time for Rob's moment to shine. <laughs> um, this is another tune from Lee Sexton. Also, by, man, my bands have been all wet. Yeah. Uh, yep. All right, this Hello John D. Played on a wet banjo. Yeah, it's okay, it'll make it. We can back down no, we're good. confused with Sloop John B. No. Man, if it was dry, you could have brought your instruments and then uh, played back there. That would have been sweet. I'm going to do some tuning while we get the poly ready. Okay. Yeah, let's, let's play poly. Um, I think that's this fiddle. So, uh, yeah, so so I've, I've talked a lot about Bruce Green, and he's probably, um, he's definitely my, my biggest influence. I grew up about a mile from him in uh, Western North Carolina in a little town called Silo. And had a chance to play with him um, when I was a, a tweener, a bunch, and ever since, on and off. Um, but there's another fiddle player too who who I've always um, been influenced by, and that's Bard Ray. And my my mom was taking lessons from him when I was just a little too young to to play yet. Um, but I got to hang out with him a few times, and he gave me a rattlesnake rattle to put in my in my fiddle. And I um, 
I've always just, just really liked the way he, he took kind of common tunes of the area and um, uh, turned them into something a little bit unique. And he had that, a really nice fiddle style that was kind of in between bluegrass and, and more traditional old time. So this is a tune of his. The next one we're going to do is a tune of his, or from him rather, called uh, Polly Put the Kettle On. <laughs> and he got this, um, or he tried to get it from Manko Sneed and um, some of those those uh, um, kind of more archaic fiddle players who were living in the Asheville area in Swannanoa. Um, and I think he never could just quite quite get the gist of it, so he just, he just kind of took it in his own direction and changed over the years a few times. And um, so we, we, we sort of took a few different versions of his and, and put them together in a little setting, and that's what this is. Jason might not have phrased it that way if he, when he was alive, but... <laughs> <laughs> He had a good sense of humor. <laughs> All right, let me get that. You didn't bring an extra bow, did you, Charlie? I can't tighten my bow. I think it's the humidity. Oh, I've got one up there. That's right. I got one too, but you know, you got to play with the bow, you know. <laughs> All right, here we go. Four different versions of that because we were getting it from Bard and uh, and and he, what he was doing with it, I, I, in in his defense, was also like taking something in a totally different direction. Then we we never found out what the direction was. We found three different directions, and that's the one we settled on for <laughs> Hog Eyed Man Three. Yeah, yeah. So that's on our third record, which you can get at Old Time Tiki Parlor and other places. Or no, you can't. You can get it on CD Baby and stuff. Go to hogeyedman.com and find it. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Who knows? I think CD Baby uh, yeah. stole our CDs. They oh, yeah. stole ours, too. They did? Yeah. Um, COVID Baby. This is actually the Barbary fiddle. I forgot that oh. I had it with me. Oh, and, shoot. Um, so this is a fiddle I got um, through, through my friend Brandon Johnson last year to, and, and from, from Taylor Barnhill, who's an old friend of Bard Ray's and also um, has known my family for 
since I was a toddler. He tells a story about visiting my house when I was um, two or three or something and, and being shocked at the porch that I was allowed to climb around on and how he was afraid I was going to fall off of it. <laughs> anyway, this is a fiddle that um, when Broadway had, had hundreds of fiddles, I think. He, he was real into finding old fiddles and thrift stores and um, flea markets and, and stuff like that and kind of fixing them up. And So this is one of his. It's, it's nothing super special, but um, it's really nice to, to have one of his. Very, um, means a lot to me. And we're, uh, we're going to play a tune that doesn't come from him, though. What do you oh. want, want to do, Limber Jim? Le sure. We're, okay. we're, this is a new one we're singing. You haven't heard this singing song. Yeah. Limber Jim? Have you heard that? No. Okay. We'll do, we'll do Limber Jim, You Can't Go. It's, a, it's actually an old um, nursery or a children's song, I believe. And, uh, but it makes it kind of a fun fiddle tune as well. Give me a DNA. Sure. messages from our host David Strickland. First he tells me it's um it's the 39th an annual oh my gosh. Florida Florida Fiddlers uh, Association convention. So congratulations y'all. That's that's pretty awesome. That's a tradition right there. And then he also said that that Jack Jack Limberlegs is a Florida tune. <clears throat> and so maybe there's a connection between Limber Jim and, and Let's Jack just change the lyrics and do it again. <laughs> I guess we'll have to do it at the 40th, right? The 40th annual. That's the point where the whole crowd goes Yay! Please come back to Athens, <laughs> Sorry, we Florida. Were, we were busy texting. 
Okay, yeah, no, no, I'm talking about the, the whole, all, the Facebook should all be going, hey, yeah, that's that's right. you know. I forgot I was going to go into the other team, but that's okay. That's fine. That's fine. So also, timing-wise, how are we doing? Oh, good question. Um, I'd say we got about 15, 20 minutes. We, cool. he, said, he said it's not a strict 9 o'clock stop. So. Oh, good. Well, um, we did. We skipped our. Uh, we could. We have a, sl a slow tune. We can do at some point too. Some kind of merchy thing. Yeah. Aloha. Hey, good to see you guys. Get home we got, safe. We got to get back while we can still afford the creek. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of right, true. Nice see, nice see you on the internet. Thank you. Alright, I think uh, I got all my instruments inside now. It was <laughs> <laughs> a, little a little bit wet. That's okay. I kind of feel like playing guitar for a sec. Yeah, let's do. Okay. Um, or why don't you why don't you do that? I'll do that, and I'll I'll keep doing what I'm doing. That's fine. So you want you want to play that uh, Gray Eagle? Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, no, so we're gonna we're gonna do one of the the many Western North Carolina Gray Eagle tunes that are in the key of C. Our our friend Karen Celia Heil calls them the calls them seagulls. Cause they're all uh, they're they're the gray seagulls. <laughs> <laughs> Um, this is one of the, the, the rarer ones, I think. This is a, one, of, one from Manko Sneed, the great um, Cherokee fiddler. And uh, it's one he called the Old Time Gray Eagle, I think. There's only one recording of him, and it's, it's pretty marred by uh, distortion and, and interruption. And, um, so it's a little bit hard to make out what he's doing. So he, the kind of fun thing about that is that everybody who plays this tune comes up with their own interpretation. and. Nothing wrong with that. That's right. Yeah. On Gray Eagle. Yeah, that's fun. Do you want to do another guitar let's do one? Let's Georgia tune. Okay, yeah, let me get a different fiddle. Okay, if you want. Yeah, sure. Okay. Okay. Well, you got it out, let's do some. So, uh, we are going to be playing at this place called Hender Shots um, on the 22nd of October. Come see our show, everybody. Come see our show because you can see it on the internet. And uh, uh, Jason's shirt says love on it because that's the slogan of. Oh yeah, um, this is the Hendershots right now. It's a really unique slogan, actually. 
if you look at the big picture. <laughs> um, but we are uh, we we support Hendershot so much, and our buddy Seth Hendershot who runs it, it's the best club in Athens. If you ever come up here, <coughs> and we're going to be doing our first live concert in a in a place from there, and the, there'll be nobody there but us. But we'll probably bring our friends like the ones that were back here with the umbrellas, Charlie, and Nancy, and Tom Baker, <coughs> with us. So this is a tune that we're, we we we'll probably do with with uh, Tom Baker when we play with him. I hope so. So this is, I guess, our, our third um, state tune. This yeah. one is a Georgia tune. Um, this one is a, it's real famous, made famous by the Skillet Liquors. It's, it's Hell Broke Loose in Georgia. Um, there's this, a related version called Streak of Lean, Streak of Fat. And um, we're not gonna do those, either of those versions. This is one that's um, in, in the key of A, so I'm cross-tuned for this. And we'll, I don't know, give it a shot. I completely had a Louisiana, uh, that was a fun. Lafayette, Louisiana flashback, and I had to follow that. No need, no need to apologize <laughs> to me, buddy. <laughs> um, let's see. And we got those blue ones down there too. Oh right, uh, under here. I'd say we. I bet we could do at least three more. Yeah. If we did three more, let's. What would you want to do? And which one of these? I kind of want to do downfall. Yeah, me too. Want to do that now? Uh, especially because it might be the downfall of some of our instruments. All right. So, um, we're going to play a, a, a kind of a hodgepodge of a tune. It's, um, I don't, I'm not going to tell the whole nerdy or origin <laughs> story, but just know that it's, it's kind of similar to Falls of Richmond and um, Fine Times at Our House. And uh, I'm not... It's called Downfall of Our House. And it's, yeah, but... It's, it, it can be attributed to two people in Georgia in the early 21st century who never quite learned the tune. And, and had too us. much whiskey one night, I think. <laughs> <laughs> 
forgot forgot the right tuning. It's on one of our records. It's on two of our records. Two of our records. We, we, we like We're it so much. <laughs> All right, here we go. How's it go? Yeah. Game day in Athens with it without a no ambulances and fire trucks. The, the police here just strictly enforce mask mandates, so you just hear the <laughs> whistles constantly in Georgia. It's amazing. Sure, Florida too. All right, I say. Um, what do you uh, say? Wanna, you when, you want to do Wounded Hoosier and did you know Rice Yeah, let's do both of those. Yeah, let's do both those. So that'll be our closer. Yeah, I think so. Okay. <laughs> Um, we're going to be looking back at all the comments that you have made and will make. Oh, somebody's in Denmark watching us. That's awesome. That's awesome. See, that's the that's the upside. I right? just showed a video in my, I teach uh, high school, and I showed a video called Do It for Denmark. And I'm sure you're familiar with it, Suzanne. Um, but a lot of you should Google Do It for Denmark after this. Trust me, it's really worth the watch. Okay. <laughs> I hope that one doesn't get you fired. No, I showed it in class. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um... <coughs> Well, we'll probably say goodbye after this, right? We're gonna, we will. Yeah, okay. So, so this is a, this is not our good, big goodbye, but this is um, probably our finale. So we're going to go a couple times through. We won't play it to death. Um, the Wounded Hoosier. Maybe a little bit more marchy than usual. Yeah. And um, this is a tune from Marcus Martin. Oh, shoot. What happened? Did you break something? Well, we can't. I can't do it as a medley, actually. Okay. Yeah. Let's just do, let's just do either one. Whichever one you want to do. Let's do Juno Rice Draw. Okay, that's, cool. That's Let's go do Juno Rice Draw. So th this is actually, um, sorry, we, we, we'll, we'll, we'll go out on, on Moon and Hoosier, but this is, uh, this is a, a version of Rice Draw that I got from Bascom Lamar Lunsford, and uh, he got it from a fiddle player in 
in Juneau, which is just outside of Asheville, North Carolina. So we call it the Juneau Rice Straw. And if you want to do something, because if you want to do like a Boatman before, or if you want to do a Jack Wilson after, we can mm. do that. Okay. Well, let's just do this. Do what you want. Yeah. <laughs> That's, um, well, of course, we're 20 seconds ahead of them, but that's fine. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah, you want to do one last one? One I last do. One? I kinda, I'm kind of feeling Yuki. Ooh. If you got something across, Chan. Um, across A, you mean? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Either speed the power, or we could do like let's one. Just, let's just speed the power. <coughs> but uh, no, no, I don't do that on Yuki as much. Oh, so. okay. Well, well, there's other tunes we do on you. Like, um, Glory buck, buck or Buckhorde? Buckhorde? Buckhorde. Buck buck yeah, okay. yeah. This is one we haven't played a long time. So I'm excited to learn it. <laughs> you need to retune for A? No, I think I'm okay. good. All right. Um, well, thank you. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. It's it's really fun to somehow be in so many different places at once and, and not even really have to leave home. Thanks again to David Strickland for having us. Uh, we hope to be there in person um, soon. And, and I wish we could be there now, but this is, this is better than nothing. And um, I'm Jason Cave. This is Rob McMakin. We're the band Hog Eyed Man, and it's been it's been actually really fun. It's been a super fun night, and we're gonna go out on um, <coughs> a tune called Buck Horde, big old A tune, which we haven't played for a couple years. Yeah. And uh, just real quick, our our website hogeyedman.com um, is uh, has has a section called Tune Journeys, and people that people that are on this, they're watching this, might like it. It's a, it's got some you know our, uh, the stories behind a lot of our tunes, and it's got some pictures and history for the sources, which is kind of fun. And it's got sound samples, so check that out. And uh, we are, I said this before, but just in case you didn't catch the beginning, our our CDs are available through the Old Time Tiki Parlor and digital through Bandcamp. And uh, thanks to everybody who's been sending us tips through the PayPal, we, we appreciate it. And um, yeah, this is it. Let's have some fun. Let's do it. <laughs>
healthy. Yeah. Take care of yourself. Be kind to each other. Yeah. And we'll see you down the road. Take care.